I brought you to this location, County, because uh, this is the, the new trail crossing. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was a tough decision for, for my group within the Forest Preserve because this is a Class 4 area. We normally, uh, by policy, don't build trails through Class 4 areas. But uh, for giving up the trail that, that you uh, so kindly supported, <laughs> removing, uh, we felt that providing a, a deliberate access mm -hmm. to get people through and invite them in to see what we're doing and to appreciate the, the quality of the resource, to see the, the birds and the animals and the interaction. We put this new trail in uh, with our own district staff who are very careful about navigating uh, uh, the plant community. So uh, why don't you talk a little bit about the importance of, of access uh, yeah. from the public's perspective and, and we're always challenged how do we explain to the public what we're doing we're out there burning the landscape using herbicides cutting down trees you know and we get these kind of like what part of forest preserve don't you understand right and I, I really appreciate you asking me that because um, truly we want to be here we pay taxes for the forest preserve we want to be here and enjoy it whether we are runners or bird watchers or horseback riders I mean we are walking our children with our dogs I mean, we want to be in the preserves to enjoy them, and we deserve to be in, in here to enjoy them. But what we're enjoying is very important. And I think educating the public that we want to be here to see the beautiful plants and the animals and to feel the sunshine and to be part of the community, um, but we don't want to have a negative impact on that community. And that's why we were... Um, some of our groups were able to support you in taking out the one trail that went through the center of a delicate area because it won't be as beneficial um, to those species if, if we keep interrupting, interrupting we appreciate that. as we come through. Change is hard. And once the change takes place um, in two years, it does take some time. But the small little growth that starts to come back is so well worth the change. But getting out and letting people know about the importance of it, um, I hope that this conversation is heard by people. Um, I hope that we've written letters for homeowners associations that are going to be impacted. I hope that people get to uh, read those letters and be informed. I hope, I hope people talk to um, not just their elected officials, but the guys and women who work for the Forest Preserve mm -hmm. and who are doing this restoration. I mean, those people were, um, this is their life's blood to take care of these um, precious areas.